Hey guys, Dave here. Hey, we're going to take a look at that Dirty Unicorn, uh, newest versions. Uh, got 4.3 going for it. Uh, it's got tons of options, so you can customize this ROM to be whatever you want it to. Alright guys, so we're looking at some uh, Dirty Unicorn right now, uh, the ROM. And it is full of custom uh, customization. Uh, just starting off, um, it's kind of hard to see up here, but that is a widget I threw on there. It's performance control. And just from the, you know, you can see what you, you got it set to for. You don't have to have another app run for it. Um, it's part of the ROM itself. You can customize the uh, the speed and interactiveness of the um, kernel speed and you know, megahertz. Wanna... To get data working on this, uh, you're just going to pull this down, go into your settings, go to your more and your mobile networks and then you're going to select the network mode. Uh, I believe this is either set to LTE, CDMA, EVE, DO. Uh, you're going to want to hit that top selection there, which is going to change this to global, and once you do that, you'll have your 3G up there. Getting to the apps here, we got Apollo Music app, uh, camera, let's catch in to see which one I, looks like the Google edition. Um, couple options there we've gone over this before so uh, they can do panoramic and everything so good camera still okay so we got camera we got current for current information uh, DSP manager for audio we got earth Google Earth it's got file manager already on it it's got Google Plus now this is with the G apps install which is on their website because it comes without the G apps so I installed the 4.3 G apps and the ROM itself uh, so we got gallery. This uh, does not support Zoe, of course. Uh, Gmail, Google, Google Plus. It's got uh, Halo on here. It's got Hangout. It's got Keep, a reminder service. Google Maps, you know, obvious man messenger. Uh, movie Studio, news, weather, blah blah. Playbook, play games, play magazine, play movies, play music, play store. There's a lot of playing going on here. Uh, Play Store, which is also you can uh, get to from up there. Uh, settings, Terminal Emulator, YouTube, Wallet. And then you just continue to go through to get to the widgets. And there are a bunch of widgets. Um, Android already has a bunch of widgets, but they do seem to have a custom, some more custom to their ROM widgets. So definitely enough to go through there and check out. There is not enough time in a day to go over all the things that this... Um, this ROM offers. It has these uh, six different uh, up here, and you even can see Halo up here. There it is. This is Halo. I had it turned on. That's why it was sitting up there. Uh, so we got settings, and yes, you just hit this to go in between them. Settings, wireless ADB off, Wi Fi, no service sets for the roaming. Uh, play Halo. I turned that on. You can just hit it again, turn it off. Reboot from here or stay awake is off. We can get to the settings. Here's where we don't have enough time in the day to get to is that there is so much to do here. You'll notice if I flip up or down, you'll see how the they kind of stack over like that. Um, that that's all customizable. The launcher is customizable with options here for home screen. Um, to, just a bunch of different things to do. You you just have to go through and check it all out. What all these options are the drawer. Um, transition effects uh, it's got a general lock screen full screen mode trebuchet 1.0 okay so we got the ROM controls this is a bunch more stuff uh, as you can tell here these all have options within them general UI lock screen power menu um, to see which ones you want to have on and off uh, navigator bar Navigation ring. This is kind of cool. It's how many uh, When you hold down here how many you want to be there You also have the option for long press so when you long press them it's something else So you go up to something then you can set it the short action can be any of these options and then a long Long press on it can be the same thing But again, that's just navigation uh, ring whole bunch of other stuff weather and ribbons um, the toggle menu so you can actually change 
that. You know, your toggled menus up with uh, more stuff, um, <laughs> colors and everything. Again, it's just a ton of uh, customization options. Let's see, battery signal, animations, halo. You can get into turning halo on and all the options there. Uh, LED controls, that's when your lights blink when you have notifications, um, vibrations, and host switcher, theme chooser, performance controls. That's where we got into before, where you can kind of have the different governor on, uh, you know, how you want to do a power setting, power saver, and all that. So you can really save yourself some battery life there if you're just, you know, I want my device to last as much as it can. So it's going to use lower performance, but last longer. It's got wake lock blocker. I think that's one of the newest uh, settings there is just that they can block, um, I guess, the waking of the device. Um, so, again, a bunch of options there, and that's just the two customizations in there. Um, you still have your basic sound and display, personal security, accounts, Google+. Plus. Um, you can get into the about DU, Dirty Unicorn. I really do like that icon right there. It's got, you know, gears in the back, just really evil looking. Uh, unicorn with some blood on the end of it. Just cool looking. Uh, you can get into the change log uh, for whatever device you're on, which I don't think. Yeah, there's the HTC one. You can see, uh, I guess, whatever they have. They didn't have nothing there on this device yet. Um, the updater, DU stats, status. And as you can see, we're running 4.3 on HTC One. So, but it is a great custom ROM, other than that. Um, so definitely worth, you know, maybe playing around with for a little while and supporting the ROM so they can get that going. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got some informative information from this ROM. Uh, continue to help support the channel. Just uh, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're still watching. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.